We're going to talk about multiplying monomials and a polynomial today. First thing you need to recall is your product rule. The product rule tells us if you have the same base, so like x and x, you're going to keep that base and add your exponent. So I give you x to the a times x to the b would mean you would keep your base x and have a plus b. All right, so you know how to do this already. There is a variable or a number outside of your parentheses, so it's like you're distributing. So h times h and h times 4. Well, you know h times h would give you h squared. h times 4 gives you plus 4h because it is positive. Number 2. You have a k outside of your parentheses, so again, you're going to distribute that k. So k times k and k times negative 9. k times k would give you k squared. k times negative 9 gives you net minus 9k. That is finished because we do not have like terms. We cannot combine those because it's a squared and a single k, not like terms. Number three, we have a 9a out front of your parentheses. So just like the last two, we are going to distribute that 9a. So 9a times a gives you 9a squared. 9a times positive 1 would give you plus 9a. Six, uh, four, five are just like the last two. So we're going to look at number six. Number six, we are distributing negative 4g squared, which would give you, if you distribute that to the 2g squared, negative 4 times 2, negative 8, g, 2 plus 1, add those exponents, gives you 3. Negative 4 times 7, negative 28, and then your g squared comes down. Number seven, this time we have a monomial times a trinomial. Again, it is done the same way. We are still distributing this x to everything inside. So x times x squared gives you x cubed. x times negative x, negative x squared. x times positive 3 is plus 3x. They are not like terms, so we are done. Number eight. This time we're distributing negative five squared, five, sorry, five m squared. So five m squared times three m squared gives you fifteen m. Think back to those rules. You're multiplying, so add those. Two plus two gives you four. Minus 5 times negative 1 gives you negative 5. 2 plus 1 gives you m cubed. Negative 5 times, sorry, not negative 5, positive 5 times negative 7 gives you negative 35, and then your m squared. We do not have like terms, so we are finished. 11. 11 is along the same lines, but this time we have two variables. So remember, with your variables, you only combine the like term variables and add the exponent. So 3xy times x squared gives you 3x to the 1 plus 2 gives you 3. And there's a y in the beginning, but not a y in the first term. So 3y, 3x cubed y. Multiply 3xy three times xy, and that would give you 3 times 1 is 3. 1 plus 1 more gives you x squared. 1y, y to the first, and y to the first gives you y squared. 3xy times y squared gives you 
3 times 1 is 3. There's not an x, so bring down your x. y to the 1 plus 2 gives you 3. Again, I do not have like terms, so I am finished. That is all I can do. Number 12 is done the same way. You might want to pause your video and work through number 12 on your own. And then come back and we'll work through it together. You are distributing 5r squared s squared. So 5 times negative 2 is negative 10 r to the 2 plus 2, so r to the 4th, s squared comes down. 5r squared s squared plus 3rs, so 5 times 3 is 15, r2 plus 1 gives you 3, s to the 2 plus 1 give you 3 more. 5r squared s squared times 4, negative 4 s squared. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. r squared, there's no r's over here, so that comes down. r squared. s squared plus s squared, remember, you are adding the squared, so that will give you s to the 4th. I do not have like terms, so I am complete. This is done the same way. Oops, 16. Sorry, it has 16 has a little bit extra. All right, so this time it's done the same way at the beginning, but then we have extra terms on the end. This here, this plus 7. So follow your order of operations. Order of operations says parentheses first. 3x minus 4. Those are not like terms. So take care of the negative 2x out front. Distribute that. Negative 2x times 3x gives you negative 6x squared. Negative 2x times negative 4 gives you plus 8x. And then you have a plus 7x on the end. Okay? I'm almost done. This time I have like terms with 8x and 7x. I'm adding them because they're both positive. Negative 6x squared comes down. 8 plus 7 gives you plus 15x. They are like terms. Do not change those exponents. Leave them as they are. So your final answer would be negative 6x squared plus 15x. Seventeen. Seventeen has a little bit more going on. So, seventeen. We have two sets of parentheses. Both of them have a monomial out front. So, start on the left. Distribute that 5w. So, 5w times negative 7w will give you negative 35w squared. 5w times 3 will give you plus 15w. That takes care of your first set of parentheses. Let's look at the second set. 2w times negative 2w would give w squared would give you negative 4. W1 plus 2 would give you that 3. 2w times 19w give you positive 38w1 plus 1 is. 2w times 2 get, will give you 4w. From here, we're almost done. One more step. From here, we need to combine those like terms. Negative 35w squared plus 38w squared, which we know that would give you 3w squared. Because they are like terms, you do not change your exponent. 15w plus 4w, 15 plus 4, give you 19w. Do not change those exponents again. We still have this negative 4w cubed. That does not have a like term. As we learned yesterday or in the prior lesson, 
standard form says the w cubed part must come first because it has the bigger exponent. So plus negative 4w cubed. So your final answer would be negative 4w cubed plus 3w squared plus 19w. Start by distributing your y's. So I give you in the first one y squared plus 4y. That takes care of your first set of parentheses. The second set of parentheses, this time I'm not dis just distributing a y, it's a negative y. So negative y times y gives you negative y squared. Negative y times 3 gives you plus 3y. That negative 9y just would drop down. Combine those like terms. Okay. y squared minus y squared. No, that would give you 0y squared. 4y plus 3y gives you plus 7y minus 9y. We want to combine it all at one time. So let's go ahead and keep reducing and finishing this out. The 0y squared, I don't need to write that. Okay, so that's gone. 7 minus 9 gives you negative 2y. These are still like terms. Keep combining. So your final answer would be negative 2y. Alright, this will be the last one that we're going to look at on our notes page. Start at the beginning. 6x times 2x gives you 12x squared. 6x times negative 3, negative 18x. Look at the next set. Distribute your negative 5. So, negative 5 times 2 gives you negative 10x squared. Negative 5 times 9x gives you negative 45x. Negative 5 times negative 3 gives you 50, positive 15. From here, now combine those like terms that you have. 12x squared minus 10x squared give you 2x squared. Negative 18 minus 45x would give you negative 63x. And this plus 15 has nothing to combine with it, so it just comes down. So your answer is 2x squared minus 63x plus 15. I hope this helped with monomial times of polynomial.